My paintings can, um, they vary uh, for two extremes. Um, this painting here is based on photos I took in my neighborhood. Two years ago during lockdown, I went outside to get exercise, like walking around the neighborhood for an hour or more to get some air. And I just saw this laundromat, I saw it from different angles, and then I took a number of uh, photographs with my phone that I had with me. Thought it would make an interesting subject to paint. Uh, the trees, I love the, the phone lines, the other power lines going across. And then on the other hand, this painting over here is really much a composite. I had an idea about doing a drive-in theater. So I started with the sky, made the sky, made this, and then I did a lot of research on the internet to find images to call from. Um, so I, it's a combination of those things. So there's almost always some sort of reference. Um, I use my imagination to change things or add things, but I, I do have some sort of reference uh, for most of, my, most of my paintings. A lot of times what I need to add, if I, if I feel like I need to add something to it, it's for either compositional reasons, like you need some sort of form or color in another location to move your eye around, or else I feel that the image itself needs something to carry more weight or more meaning for me. Uh, sometimes it doesn't have all the things I need. I'll eliminate some things because I don't think they, I think they distract or they don't add to um, they don't add to what I'm trying to go for with the work. With this one, I want it to be kind of over the top with regard to the number of cars. I wanted to sort of saturate the number of vehicles, watching this blank screen, um, our preparation of seeing some sort of film, and leaving it up to the imagination of the viewer to fill in what these people would be going to, to, to view, why they would all be gathered here. So again, the images sort of suggest things for me uh, in terms of what is needed, the placement of things. This one over here, the placement of the car is crucial for me. It, it means different if it was here or if it was there. It's placement and proximity to the tree. It's distance from the viewer. All those things, they play a role in terms of uh, giving me some freedom to move things around to fit the need of the piece. The same with changing colors. You know, sometimes I'm just going to make a color, kind of strange color combination that just feels right and something that reads well to the viewer, but is maybe something they wouldn't expect to see.